If you love art, culture, community, and kicking off your summer with flair, you'll find it all the first weekend in June at Chicago's 57th Street Art Fair. One of America's first art fairs, 57th Street has been bringing artists and art lovers together for more than 60 years. Whether you go to buy, bargain hunt, or browse, there's something for everyone at the 57th Street Art Fair. We got ceramics, we got painting, we've got uh, jewelry and paper and chalk, colored pencil, oils, sculpture, astrophotography. One of the nice things about art fairs is that it really um, it really covers a lot of mediums and a lot of craft, a lot of fine art um, objects, wearable things. The 57th Street Art Fair was revolutionary when it started in 1947. For the first time, people could actually meet the artists creating their work. This changed the way we access art forever. What's great about the 57th Street Art Fair is to meet the artists and to get to know them. We purchased uh, a work uh, a couple years ago, and every year we come back and we see the, the same artist and we talk to her, we've got to know her, and uh, uh, that's been one of the highlights, to get to know the artists. My main goal um, here at 57th Street is to see people's reaction to my new series of work. The art fair, I think, is really good for all artists just because we do get to interact with the customers. And if you sell through a gallery, you, unless you have an opening, you really never speak or see who buys your work. Here, you, you kind of develop a relationship. A lot of relationships start at art fairs. It doesn't mean they end here. And um, I've had many clients and people who contacted me afterwards and who've kept track of my work. Today, 57th Street is still changing the way we view art and even helping us learn about art through the Art Buying Boot Camp. So we're not art collectors by any stretch. I mean, um, that's why we signed up for boot camp. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that we like about this piece is it almost pops out of the canvas. Uh -huh. Is there a specific technique or? Yeah. They set up lights. Is uh, very, you know, and the technique is uh, you know this is very heavy. This, uh, if you don't get them framed, you know you can do a lot on your own with framing. You just have to understand that there is an added cost. Oh yeah. You know to to doing the framing yourself, but there you can do a lot of very creative um, things to the to the photo if, if you choose to do your own framing. We're learning that buying art doesn't always have to take a lot of money or an experienced eye, it just takes an adventurous spirit. But I, I also don't think that buying a, a less expensive piece of art is um, any less meaningful. One thing's for sure, once you open yourself up to the experience, you won't regret it. Art is what you make of it, so come on down to the 57th Street Art Fair. It's always the first full weekend in June.